It's Friday, so you know what that means. on YouTube welcome back to a little bit of anything today I want to talk about building a cheap rifle now before I continue I just want to say I am on the range they are having a competition on the other side so you will see or you will hear a lot of random fire uh, with that being said uh, let's talk about this rifle right here I have actually uh, taken it apart for several reasons. Now, this is a pistol um, that I built, and if you have seen any of my previous um, videos, you will you will find that a few months ago I decided to see what was the cheapest I could build a rifle, and I was looking online for the cheapest parts I could find, and I managed to build one. Well, not a rifle, pistol for $264 and I keep mentioning this um, probably on, on any of the videos that I talk about this but I believe that I could have built it a lot cheaper if I was a little bit more patient why am I talking about this rifle again well I have done a couple of upgrades so it's no longer as cheap as it used to be one of the upgrades that I did was I bought the uh, CAG blade stabilizer um, I believe this is the first gen and it was a, a pretty good price and I also upgraded the muscle brake and the handguard so now it actually looks a little bit more like a decent um, pistol however the internals are still pretty cheap and that has caused some reliability 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 issues um, like extractions. Another issue that I found was with the extractor. Now this issue only happens whenever I'm firing um, a steel case um, and as most of you know steel case doesn't handle the pressure of the gases as good as the brass case which means that the case um, on the steel case round expands uh, a little bit more in, in cases very a lot more than the brass case and it, it happens that it actually gets stuck inside the barrel but that could also be caused by another issue but before I go there I want to talk about yes it gets stuck inside the barrel and when I mean stuck I mean to the point where the extractor will not uh, remove the empty case from the uh, chamber and I actually have to get a metal rod to um, hit it the other uh, from the uh, end side of the barrel to get it out. I tried with different um, uh, BCGs, I have a couple of them at my home and none of them would actually um, get that one out. So with that being said, that could be cause for many reasons. One, the case is spending too much inside the barrel, um, making it get stuck inside the barrel. And uh, the fact that the BCG is not very good quality, um, especially the extractor. So uh, a couple of things that I will do, maybe not today, well definitely not today, is upgrade the firing pin and the extractor. Um, but this is an issue that has happened in the past as well. A few years ago when I bought my first um, AR-15, it was a budget rifle. It was a... Uh, let me see, it was a uh, ATI Mill Sport 2 by American Tactical Imports. And I bought like a thousand rounds of reloads um, from my local gun show. And I was finding that almost every single case was getting stuck inside the barrel. So I took it back, uh, I took all of the rounds back to the, um, uh, to the place uh, where I bought it. Uh, which was a local sh uh, a local shop that happens to have a table 
uh, the gun show. And he actually went into details um, of the uh, specification of the inner diameter of the barrel. And uh, he explained to me that when you have a budget rifle, sometimes what they do is the inner diameter of the rifle is a little bit closer to the minimum diameter, um, which can cause issues on reloads and a steel case, uh, which is why the, uh, the case was getting stuck inside the barrel on my budget rifle. Um, he brought in a, a huge book with the uh, specs. He also showed me different um, ammunition. And again, he went into very good details. And I believe that is another issue uh, that is happening with this rifle. Again, this is a cheap rifle. And when I mean cheap, I'm talking about uh, uh, as cheap as you could get for $264 if you don't take into, into consideration the, um, the blade and the new handguard that I bought. However, the important parts of this rifle, which is the barrel, BCG, and the trigger, um, are still very cheap. And again, I keep saying rifle. It's not a rifle. It's a pistol. If you're watching this video, you already know the definition. It's just that I keep referring to as a rifle, but it's not a rifle. It's a pistol. So, with that being said, I believe that the case getting stuck inside the chamber is uh, caused by three separate things. One, a steel case um, round uh, that did not handle the pressure of the gases as well as brass. Two, the barrel uh, could be, I'm not saying that it is, could be that it is um, closer to the minimum um, the specs when it comes to the inner diameter of the uh, of the uh, of the barrel, and also the bow carrier group, um, specifically the extractor, uh, the quality is not that good. I know that for a fact because it's it many times it actually fails to simply grab onto the um, to the lip of the round. Um, so I wanted to, to hit that on a little bit because I, I usually tell people that your first rifle should be cheap. And I, um, I haven't changed my mind on that for the simple fact that <clears throat> I, I now know, know more about what makes a rifle a good rifle. Now I know what some of the components that are important, um, why you should spend more money on it. Um, I mean, uh, this is still a pretty cheap rifle, but when you take into consideration that I can simply swap the barrel, I can swap um, the BCG, and spend maybe a few hundred dollars more, uh, I can have in my hand a decent um, rifle or a pistol. However, if I spend a few hundred dollars more, I'm going to be probably at five to six hundred dollars which you could get basically a full size rifle without having to spend all the time searching around but it does teach you a lot about the rifle it does teach you um, what components are more important than um, when it comes to having a very reliable rifle with that being said let's get to shooting